Well, John, uh, you know, how, how's, how's this spring practice been for you? Obviously, uh, you know, registering last year and now maybe have an opportunity this year. How is, how is it different this spring? Um, it's been really good, you know. Um, it was a really good off season, especially for like the tight end group, um, I think, as a whole. Um, I had a chance to develop a lot and get in better shape and put on size and stuff. So it was, it's been a good off season. At least on the roster, it listed you about 15 pounds heavier than, than you were, you know, when you started fall camp. About, mm -hmm. is, that, is that about right? And how much of a difference has it made? Uh, yeah, I'm about 240, 245 now. So um, I definitely think it's helped me a lot, especially with like the interior run blocking stuff. With you know, with with you know, an opportunity. There's there's seven tight ends out there, and you know, <laughs> and it's obviously pretty good competition. But it sounds like you know that group's gonna be to get a little more involved this year. What what what, what kind of an opportunity is it for you? Uh, you know, I think just as a whole group, um, we have pretty high expectations this year. So um, I think our job really is just to help each other out and try to you know play any role that we can. Whether it's you know. Coach wants us to run block, then we'll do it. If he wants us to go catch a pass, you know, it's just really being able to be there and do whatever we can to help the team as a whole. With losing a guy like Spurback, how does that maybe expand everyone's role in the tight end group? Um, he was a very good wide receiver, you know. Um, we have we have Jake Rowe and Alec Danes, who are really good tight ends, and they've been playing for a long time. So I think with that type of um, – experience that they have, I think it'll be really good, especially to help show us younger guys, you know, with not so much uh, experience, so. Yeah. How, how eager is the group to, you know, to get involved, to get, you know, a little more active? I guess in the past game, you guys always say you'll do whatever you need, but, yeah. you know, obviously up and kind of up until the bowl game, it wasn't, you know, not a lot of passes were coming your guys' way. So how, are you guys pretty eager to get a little more of that, or does that matter? Um, I don't think it really matters, honestly. Like, I think just really, um, we're just going to do what the coaches tell us to do, uh, what they plan. You know, they always have a really good game plan for us, and uh, I think we're going to try to execute it to the best of our ability. Is the way to do that in the past game, I guess, it, you know, just to get more open? Or <laughs> um, I don't know, to be honest with you guys. I mean, I wasn't – I registered last year, so I wasn't really, like, too involved. But, um, like, again, I think we're just going to try to do whatever we can possible to help out the team as a whole. With, uh, you, know, you know, Coach Ridd's kind of talked about, you know, kind of – for you, you know, they have you know expectations. You know, he thinks you can accomplish some good things here at, at, at Boise State. You know, even though you registered last year, you know, is, is that something good to hear? You know, from a, from a coach that you know kind of speaks highly about a guy who who doesn't play yet. Yeah, it helps me confidence wise, but you know, of course, I'm still just going to keep uh, working my butt off in the weight room, and studying film a lot. Because I mean, I still am a redshirt freshman. I haven't played before, so I mean, I still have to work my butt off and prove that like I can play. You know, is it hard sometimes trying to get that real game feel without actually playing in a real game yet? Um, I don't. I just go out to practice, you know, and try to practice at the best level that I can. So, did you travel a good amount last year? Or? Uh, just Oregon State. Oh, it was just Oregon State. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it, with seven guys out there, and they're all healthy, you know, I think pretty much every other group has at least one guy dinged up, maybe than the quarterbacks. Mm. So to have all seven guys out there and, you know, competing with each other in the spring, you know, what, what, is that, what does that mean for you guys? It's obviously one of the deeper groups around. Yeah, um, I just definitely think that the tight ends will be able to use uh, in a lot of different aspects, which will be really good. Um, and yeah, we're just going to try to challenge each other, you know, every single day to get better and um, just work, you know, just try, to, just try to get on the field somehow. How much of a challenge is that? I mean, since there is seven of you guys, and, and you're all, you know, it, it's not like any of you yeah. are registering, you're all, are, mm -hmm. you know, had that behind you. Yeah, so. I mean, being a young guy, I mean, obviously there's guys ahead of you that have experience and have played before. So, I mean, it's a challenge, but I definitely, um, definitely can take into like consideration. I can watch the older guys, it helped me develop more, you know, so that, that'll be really nice. How much of a benefit was registering? I think, you know, in most years, maybe a guy like you might have played as a true freshman but mm -hmm. you know to redshirt how much that help especially at you know tight end where you guys have to have so much responsibility yeah, it was definitely really nice to be honest because I mean I really didn't play that much tight end in high school so it really gave me a basically a full year to really just you know uh, work on my technique my footwork uh, you know just the little things get bigger stronger uh, learn the game better so it was a re really good development how much of a challenge is it to play tight end here you mean you got to block you gotta you know you gotta you gotta yeah. go out and routes and then the, there's all the shifts and stuff that is so well known here it's a definitely uh it's a big responsibility to take on but um i mean that's what we that's what we like here is to be challenged and you know uh challenged to, to our best of ability so i mean i'm really really excited so working with a guy like brett rippin in in the time that you have what would be kind of 
picked up from him as a, as a quarterback and now as you get ready to get on the field, you know, potentially catching passes from him? Yeah, uh, Brett's a really great leader. You know, he really helps bring our team together and he, he runs the offense, he runs the show. So um, really looking forward to, you know, being able to play beside him. Even if you weren't uh, necessarily playing, how much have, have you noticed a, a, diff a difference? Have you noticed maybe in Jake being healthy and stuff? You know, obviously, you know, he was so productive his first two years and that injury slowed him down a bit last year. You know, how, how much of a difference have you noticed in him and his, you know, his morale up? Or is, is, is he, does he seem different at all? Uh, you know, Jake, uh, uh, since the injury last year, you know, he's gotten a lot better. Uh, his knees, you can definitely tell, has uh, gotten a lot better and he's up to full speed now. So excited to see what he does this year.